Hello my friends and welcome to another Toy Robots video. Today we are going to review, Dino Riders cartoon and toy line. This a spectacular animation and toy franchise is awesome. Join me, and together we will discover this amazing world. Dino Riders Dino Riders is an animated television series that first aired in 1988. It was primarily a promotional show to launch a new Tyco toy line. Only 14 episodes were produced, three of which were produced on VHS for the United States. The show aired in the US as part of the Marvel Action Universe programming block. The series focuses on the battle between the heroic Valerians and the evil Rulin Alliance on prehistoric Earth. The Valerians were a peaceful race that lived on Valeria until they were attacked by the Rulans. The Valerians attempted to escape the Rulin assault using their space-time energy projector. However, something went wrong. They were sent back in time, 65 million years to the age of the dinosaurs. Unknown to them, the Rulin flagship Dreadlock were also sent back through time. After successfully landing on prehistoric Earth, the Valerians used their amplified mental projector necklaces to telepathically communicate with the dinosaurs they encountered and eventually befriended them. On the other hand, the Rulans used brainwashing devices known as brain boxes to control dinosaurs for their own needs. The Rulans then launched an attack on the Valerians, who called upon their dinosaur friends to assist them in fighting back. After ultimately defeating the Rulans, the Valerians renamed themselves Dino Riders. In regard to the dinosaur and other animal species present, the series is extremely anachronistic, showing late Cretaceous species like Tyrannosaurus rex alongside species from earlier eras, including the Permian genus Dimetrodon, which lived 200 million years early, before dinosaurs existed. But as we said before, the cartoon was a promotional show to launch the toy line, so, in total, there were four series of toys from 1988 to 1990. The last one was the Ice Age line and it focused on Ice Age mammals rather than dinosaurs. The dinosaurs were acclaimed for their highly detailed bodies and color, and impressed the Smithsonian Institution, who contacted Tycho to reproduce the dinosaurs without the motorized mechanisms and wheels for their dinosaur and other prehistoric reptile collection. Amazing, don't you think? Before we continue please be sure to hit that subscribe button, we upload toy videos weekly in this channel. You can also support us or follow us in many ways. Now, we continue exploring this amazing line of toys. The release of the first series of Dino Riders toys was timed to coincide with the 1988 cartoon series on television. It initially consisted of five Valerian and six Rulin toys, along with eight two-figure packs. A sixth Valerian toy, Corosaurus, would be released at the end of the series. The larger toys in the range also had a motorized walking action with the dinosaur's head swaying from side to side. Each Rulin faction toy came with a different self-automated trap. The second series of toys consisted of seven new Valerian toys and three new Rulans, along with eight more two-figure packs as well as six commandos. The commandos consisted of a human figure with unique weapons and accessories. The most notable toy from this series was the Brontosaurus, which was the largest toy in the entire range, measuring 34 inches long and 15 inches tall. The third series was split into two assortments, three new dinosaurs for the regular series and four prehistoric mammals for the new Ice Age concept. The dinosaur sets are among the rarest of the entire range due to a limited production run. Finally, the Ice Age subline was unique in that all of the animals produced belong to the Valerian faction and, with the rest of the series 3, are very hard to find. This line also included six more two-figure packs. The Woolly Mammoth, the largest figure in the range, had motorized walking action. Apart from the toys miniature comics were included with each of the dinosaur and Marvel released a three-part miniseries of comics in February 1989. There were also a number of other products released during the cartoon run on television. These were primarily child-oriented products such as coloring books, 
puzzles, and crayons, but also included clothing, kites, stickers, and costumes. Well my friends that is all I have for you this time. I hope you liked this review. If you enjoyed this video and want to hear from me or my robot friends again, please be sure to hit that subscribe button before you go. Thank you for watching and I will see you in our next video.